Hey, just want to show you how to retarget from your raw animation that you captured via Dollars Mono uh, onto Cascade onto your own project file. So just a few things I want to point out. Um, so with Dollars Mono, if you're going to use it with Cascade, make sure the BVH for Cascade function is selected and then you record your scene. We then open uh, Blender and we import the BVH file into Blender. We do that by file, import, pvh, and you go to your dollars mono folder, and then here's your recorded data. So I'll use this one as an example, import pvh. So if you zoom out, you'll see is your character or your skeleton, and then there's the animation that you've captured. Uh, so if you want to export it into FBX, you have to do this as well. So we go to output, make sure the frame rate is at 30 frames per second. Then we go file, export to FBX. Um, let's go put some with downloads. Um, and I use this market raw, um, raw example. And also make sure that the following is selected. So at scale, make it 0 0.01. Uh, apply scaling, FBX unit scale, and apply transform. And then we go export. And now the animation has been exported. We close up here. To put it on our custom character, we're going to need three tabs. So first is the file um, that is done in the description. You can download that from my Google Drive. Um, so we going to open that. Um, it is called, uh, this one's this one, Dollars Mono Auto Post Rig for Retargeting. And then here's the rig, and ready to go. We open another one, uh, another scene. We import then our uh, raw uh, file. Uh, you won't see anything here, but just go into joint mode. And there's my character, and then here's the whole animation as well. And then we open another scene, and we select your custom character. So I'm just going to use a random model here, for example. Let's use the Quinn Mannequin. And here she is. So it's important that both your Dollars Mono um, rig that we're going to use now um, and this one has auto posing so the green as you can see here see that's all ready to go um, so here's our raw example so all we do here now is we select the whole interval so one five one three frames and then we say and highlight the skeleton as well so I so say control shift c we copy that and we paste it onto our uh, um, dollars mono auto post rig. Highlight that and make sure we have at least uh, at least a one five one four uh, frames. So I just do it. At, I just run it up. So one six. Highlight that and press Control Shift V. And then there's my animation on there. And then I can close my raw. No, I don't want to save, and I want to add it onto this UE5 Quinn. Um, so easy enough. Make sure the whole interval is selected still. So whole interval selected. Select the whole um, skeleton, and we select this character. All characters. We can do it either by auto posing or joint. Let's try joint for example and make sure that the whole interval has been selected. So I'm just going to make it 1.6 for ease of reference, select our whole interval. So that's been selected, and we've got that. Edit, target copy, edit, target paste. And there it's ready to go for you to edit and do with whatever you please. But yes, I hope it helps.